On Sunday, December 4, 1932, the NFL champion Green Bay Packers faced off against the Portsmouth Spartans in what has become known as the Iron Man game. The Packers had won the NFL title three straight years in 1929, 1930, and 1931. The game was played in Portsmouth's Universal Stadium, which still stands today and is now known as Spartan Municipal Stadium. Interest in the game was so high that city officials actually brought in the National Guard to help control the crowd, which was estimated at between 13,000 and 17,500. The stadium only held about 12,000 spectators. The Packers came to town with the NFL's best record at 10-1-1. The Spartans were 5-1-4 going into the game. This would be the next to the last game of the season for both teams. In 1932, there were no playoffs or championship game. The team with the best record was awarded the title, so every game of the season was important in determining the league champion. The Portsmouth team had 17 players on the roster, but just before the game started, head coach Potsy Clark told his players that the only way any of the 11 starters were coming out of the game was if they had to be carried off the field. In the first quarter, Spartans running back Glenn Presnell scored a touchdown on a three-yard run. Quarterback Dutch Clark kicked the extra point for a 7-0 Spartan lead. In the second quarter, Clark scored on an eight-yard run, giving the Spartans a 13-0 lead at halftime. There was no scoring in the third quarter, but in the fourth quarter, Clark threw a 27-yard touchdown pass to Presnell, for the final points of the game and an improbable 19-0 shutout win over Curly Lambeau and his Packers. The loss essentially put an end to the Packers' attempt at winning a fourth straight NFL title. The Spartans did not make any substitutions during the game, beating the Packers with just 11 players. The following week, on December 11th, the Packers were again shut out, this time by the Chicago Bears and a score of 9-0. to zero. The Spartans were also shut out by the Bears 9-0 to zero in their final game of the season on December 18th. This left the Bears and Spartans with identical winning percentages at the end of the season, something that had never happened since the league was founded in 1920. This led to the NFL's first championship game between the Spartans and the Bears, which was won by the Bears, again by the score of 9-0. to zero. The Iron Man game has been immortalized in Portsmouth with a mural on the retaining wall along the Ohio River near the downtown area, as well as on a historical marker near the stadium where the game was played. With today's 53-man rosters, we will most likely never see another Iron Man game in the NFL. But back in 1932, the Portsmouth Spartans showed the NFL that it was still possible to win a football game with just 11 players, and they did it with a shutout over the reigning NFL champion Green Bay Packers.